hey, look, guys, a comic book that features Ezra Miller's Flash and Batfleck. Soon we'll have Justice League 2 and 3 as a comic book. <laughs> What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. All right. Well, yes, we have something that's not exactly new. It's a, it's a concept that's happening. Man of Steel, BBS. Um, an interesting concept because it never really fully quite connects with, connects with the movies as much as I say that we don't. And I, and I understand that because the general public will not most likely go out and get it. Uh, it's always like it seems like it's connected, but it's not, even though the characters are very much like, I don't know. It's always very interesting when it, came, when it comes to these uh, preludes, I guess you could say. And, uh, well, The Flash is getting one, too. And it was kind of interesting with this as well because I got sent this many times. And, yeah, I think even Flash Movie News posted it, and then they removed the post because it was a little premature. you got to be careful with that stuff. But now it's fully official because now DC has been, hey, check this out. We have a uh, The Flash, The Fastest Man Alive, a prelude to the highly anticipated Warner Brothers motion picture. I'm sure a, a lot of people out there would be like, highly anticipated, <laughs> bullshit, bullshit, man. man. I'm not anticipating that. Well, you know, they have to say that. Okay, guys, they have to say that. Anyways, The Flash, The Fastest Man Alive, prelude to the highly anticipated, yes, three-issue monthly series, races to comic book shops, April 26th of this year, series available as a collected paperback, October, and then, of course, the first ever The Flash feature film hits theaters in November. Hopefully, right? This April, writer Kenny Porter and artist Ricardo Lopez Ortiz combine the worlds of the movies and comic books in The Flash, The Fastest Man Alive, a three-issue monthly series that leads up to The Flash, the hotly anticipated action adventure from Warner Brothers Pictures. In The Flash, The Fastest Man Alive, Barry Allen's world-saving adventure with the Just League has driven Central City's favorite son to become a truly skilled and inspirational superhero. But when a master of, uh, oh, well, up, 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 I said that wrong, but when a new threat by the name of Girder emerges in Central City, Barry turns to Batman to it for advice on training to master his powers. Under the Dark Knight's tutelage, the fastest man alive will have to find a way to defeat the metallic menace or be crushed by Girder's strength. Yeah, Girder's a pretty big, uh, you know, he's not like a con, he's not, he's not like a common, he's not like a rogues gallery like for the Flash. Barry Allen's Flash. Flash by he's more of a, I guess he's more like a Wally West kind of um, villain right there but uh, yeah so it's an interesting uh, okay we're gonna use that guy and then of course it's gonna have um, well I mean I guess you could say Batfleck right here obviously this is the image right here that a lot of people were talking about we can actually see like his boots right here in the design looks very much like the design that we saw that we're seeing in the Flash movies. So they are definitely combining. Doesn't mean it's all connected. And then, of course, we see Batman right here, which is essentially what Batfleck is going to look like, I guess, in the Flash movie, which I saw a lot of people, you know, not a lot of people, but I saw some people talking shit about it because it's like, why does it look weird? And blah, blah, blah. doesn't look like the, uh, the normal Batfleck costume. And, you know, naturally, there's just going to be people that are going to be pushing back against... Um, against the new costume and everything. But I'm going to talk about that a little more in a bit. It says right here, this 48-page debut uh, issues arrived, blah, blah, blah. We've already seen all that, so we've already talked about all that. So there you go. So interesting. It's interesting because it is going to be like a prelude. It's going to have very much. It's going to look like Ezra Miller's Flash. It's going to look like Batfleck. But yeah, going back to the costume, I know some people are like, what the fuck? And I know when people saw the, the stunt dude on the bike and the costume, they're like, yeah, it's the fat bat. It's the cow from Justice League. But what is going on with the costume? It doesn't look that good and whatnot. And, and, and they're going to blame Warner Brothers. going to blame the Muschietti's or something like that for like, you know, you had two good costumes right there. They're right there. Obviously, BVS being the more superior one. I think we all agree with that. The Justice League one, not that bad. But, uh, you know, I, I, I question, you know, the question I always I would ask those people that are just really going to hate on the uh, the new Batfleck costume is what's to say that the man who has to put it on didn't have some input? Huh? 
I mean, let's face it. What what does every actor who puts on the bat co- the bat suit? What do they always say that it's not it's not comfortable? It's usually not comfortable. It seems like when it comes to Pattinson's, maybe that's more the more comfortable one when it because you know it seems like it's a little bit more forgiving. And I'm kind of wondering, like, you know, Ben Affleck when he received the pages for the Flash and then he rewrote that. Maybe another request was, hey, can you make the suit just a little bit, you know, eh, better? Just better where I can actually move around, you know, you know, just not so stiff or something like that. Because let's face it, when you see him in Justice League, that cowl is not as forgiving as the BVS one. That's why I was kind of weird about that. It seemed like he was very much doing the Batman like full on shoulder turn. But yeah, I'm thinking like uh, when it comes to this one, yeah, it's not going to be as uh, fancy. It's going to be a little bit more like, OK, it's going to be different and it's going to be not so uh not so tight, I guess you could say. I don't know. It's going to be look. It's going to look I, I, it, to me. It looks like it's going to be like a, a mix of like the tactical suit and maybe the Justice League suit. Like it's something like that. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I'm just saying like sometimes maybe it's a, uh, you know, those costumes are not not too comfortable. And I think the bat costume has always been notorious for not being comfortable. I'm kind of wondering about the Flash costume, too. I mean, I I think Ezra's kind of talked about that. And when it comes to his first costume, it seemed like it was pretty okay but i'm wondering how comfortable the new one is you know so but anyways guys there you go i just wanted to make a quick video not a quick video is it ever quick with me uh i just wanted to make a video talking about that so let me know your thoughts about it down below what do you think about this what do you think about the uh the comic book do you think how how much do you think it's going to connect with the actual movie and kind of fill in the gaps when it comes in you know between justice league and the flash let me know your thoughts about it down below hit that like thumbs up hit that notification bell uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to join become a member do so and of course you got the patreon right there which uh you know put ex- i try to put as much exclusive stuff on there as possible and then of course we got the film junkie closet down below with merchandise all right guys talk to you later Thank you.